think I'm in love Say it way too often I can't play these games Think I'm switching up the offense See me in LA I be moving cautious I can feel no pain Rolling up I'm so Hello everyone, I hope you're all fine. A few days ago, I have discovered this add-on which provides procedural materials and I'm so impressed that I decided to share the information with you. Just to be clear, I'm not paid to do this review, so it's my honest opinion. The add-on we're talking about is Sanctus Library. The link will be in the description. It provides around 290 procedural materials and the library gets larger every month. So why do I love this add-on? Well, procedural means that you have an infinite version of each material. They are all high quality and some of them got displacements. And of course, they are working perfectly on cars, but we'll check about that in a few seconds. In other words, you have one add-on and you can texture everything in your projects. That's crazy. To install the add-on, you go in Edit, Print Transfers, you go in Add-on, Install, you search for the file, and here, for example, I have Sanctus. You click on Install Add-on. Then you have to activate the little checkbox. And after that, you will have the add-on on the side as usual. Just press N to display your different add-ons. And you will have the Sanctus add-on right here. As you can imagine, the 290 materials are classified in different categories. You have buildings, fabrics, food, glass, metals, stones. Uh, tune, water, woods, etc. To see the different material, you select uh, category and you click on the thumbnail. Here you will have all the different options. And you can have a better view of the material if you click on the thumbnail, just here. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, different materials to use. And now let me show you how to apply a material. And of course, we'll do that on a car. First, you select your object and you go in the material category that you want to apply. I will choose metals. And here, for example, smart metals, and you click apply material. Because I already did that before, it's asking me if I want to use the, the one I already custom or if I want to import a brand new one. So I will choose the brand new one, we import assets, and I click OK. And that's it. With one click, you have your material applied to your car. And now the real magic begins. You click on material properties. Here you have all the different options that you can customize in order to have the look that you want. You can change the, the color of the car, the metallic feel. In the metal section, you can customize the metal. You can do the same for edges, for masks, for the scratches, for the dust, for the rust everywhere. And for the rust, for example, I can activate the rust. And as you can see now, there is some rust on the car. You can select the color of the rust. You can play with the scaling, with the seed. And I really love those customizations because I don't want my car to be too clean when I do a car animation. So that's really perfect. With just a few clicks, I can customize the look of, uh, of the vehicle. And it's the same for the plastic. If you want here, for example, I use some uh, carbon fiber. So here uh, I went in the synthetic, I think. Uh, yes. And here you can select some different carbon and it's the same. I can just select the plastic and click apply material. And from there, I have different options to customize the carbon fiber. And if you prefer a clean look, you also have those materials in synthetics, um, car paint, and you select the car and you click apply material. Okay. And here, as you can see now, it's a, it's a clean car and you can play with the different options to customize the color if you want. And as I told you in the introduction, what's crazy is that with one material, you have so many different customizations that it's like you had an infinite of a version of each material. And of course, I gave you some example on cars, but you can apply that on every object. For example, I use those bricks to do the wall in the introduction video. So you also have an example with the displacements. Talking of uh, displacements, let me show you how to do that. Let's apply a material with uh, displacements on this plane. First, you go on render properties and you select uh, experimental for the feature set in cycles. You select your plane, you go in modifier properties and add modifier and we will select a subdivision surface. And here you select simple and adaptive subdivision. Now let's go in the Sanctus library. So in uh, buildings, yeah, that's it. Let's select all bricks and apply material. To see the result, I will go in render preview. And now, as you can see, there are displacements on the plane. 
and it might not look very sexy when you look at it right now in the viewport but if i render it so let me add a camera camera like this plane and one okay let's render this and as you can see the render is absolutely gorgeous and just with a few clicks you have a lot of details everywhere the displacements the shadows etc also when you have found what you need and you want to speed up your render time you can bake the material you will have all the shaders and map in different files it won't be procedural anymore but it will be much faster to render and let me show you how to do that you go in shading and here you click on the wall if you don't need the material you just have to click on the home button like this you click on this node right click and set some tooth bake sockets and you select color roughness and eight you click on ok press n on your keyboard and here you have a new menu sanctus and here you select the resolution i will go for 2000 and you click on bake so the result will be those files those three files and we are going to save those files so save and let me see where save save and save and now if you have a node wrongler it's very easy but just to be sure you go in edit preferences add-ons and you check that you have a node wrongler activated from there i will put this node behind and i will create a, create a new one so principal bsdf like this you select the principal bsdf node and you press ctrl shift and t you select the file we just downloaded so they are here and thanks to node wrangler you will have everything connected automatically we just have to change the color space here to srgb and in the displacement you change the mid level to zero let's connect the bsdf to the surface and now if we check the result it's exactly the same so now let's render the image with this new setup so it took only 15 seconds to render and one minute for the first version okay now let me give you some tips concerning the add-on when you have a material with this uh, green line it means that it's very light and easy to render for your computer but when you have those red lines it means that it's uh, more heavy i will say for your machine and when you have those little mountains <laughs> those little dents it means that you have some displacements available for this material the c means that this material uh, needs to be used with cycles and the e means that you should use it with ev and when you don't have any letters it means that you can use it uh, either with cycles or ev and uh, also when you have found the material that you need and you have finished your customizations i really think you should bake it in order to have a faster render time in conclusion i really think i will use this add-on in my workflow for my car animations and my other projects it's easy to use there are tons of updates all the time as i was creating this video there were already a new version with uh, alien skin anti-slip plaster wall, polka dots, and now the library is more than 323 procedural materials. So that's it guys, don't hesitate if you have questions, and I see you in the next video. Thank you, bye bye.